Hi guys and welcome back to another LucaVision video and welcome back to a brand new Eurovision 2021 reaction video and in today's video judging by my colours of choice and that title down below we are going to be taking a little look at Georgia's entry for the 2021 Eurovision Song Contest held in Rotterdam. Now Georgia have yet again gone with the 2020 representative Tornike Kipiani and I've got to be honest with you guys now last year Tornike was iconic. His track was so original and I loved the heart and soul that he put into the lyrics. I loved the whole aesthetic he went for, the instrumentation was so unique and I loved the message that was conveyed within the lyrics. It really made a strong statement and when I first listened to it I didn't quite get it but after a few times the penny dropped and suddenly Oh. I got it. And Georgia in general just have such a unique stance. They are kings and queens of bringing original content to Eurovision. They are just so out of the box and stand out so well at Eurovision. And you can never stand out in a bad way at Eurovision. It's either loved or hated. But in my opinion, any impact is a good impact. So yes, for 2021, Tornike is back with his track, You. I am ready to see if this is just as original and just as unique as his previous offering, Take Me As I Am. But before we get going guys, I really want to know what you think of this track. Do you like you? Let me know all of your thoughts down below guys. I can't wait to sink my teeth into your comments. But let's do this. Enough chat. Let's react. So I'm ready for you, Georgia. Lay it on me. Let's go. Oh, it's very airy and floaty to begin with. Such a vast array of sounds. I'm living for it. Already you could tell these lyrics are very personal. I wanna see I'm kind of getting a country-esque, I don't know, blues vibe with this I guitar strum. It's very artsy, I will say that. Ocean. Oh! This dropped differently. This has a very psychedelic feel about it, do you know what I mean? Like very, I don't know, almost cosmic, mythical. The music is quite enchanting. Oh, that reverb was magical. His vocals are sublime. They are so good. Wow, well now we're in the second verse. The music has really taken a turn. There's so many different sounds in this, guys. This has been put together so incredibly well. And apparently, Tornike composed it himself. Wow, and his vocals with that choir together is great. Guys, this hits differently. Oh, the way the musical came in there was magical. I love that kind of guitar sound that almost feels like it's being pulled back. I don't know how to explain it, but the musicality in this is just perfection. Oh, and there's the big vocals we were looking for. Okay, guys, it's easy to see this song is a piece of art, but it's not to my taste. Guys, that song was a bit outrageous, but in a good way. It was just, you didn't know what to expect from Georgia, especially seen last year as the song was so, I don't know, quite aggressive and such a statement maker. And then this year it was kind of understated. And then all of a sudden it picked up out of nowhere. The formula is so out of this world. I love the musicality within it. It's so elegant and classy. It's just really nice. But to me, it didn't make a massive impact. I mean, I could listen to this song alone, but when it comes to the competitiveness at Eurovision, I don't think it fits in very well for me. Does it stand out? Yes, 100%. This stands out, just like Georgia usually do. But I do have that worry that it's gonna get lost among some of the bigger songs. So guys, what can I say about that song? Yes, it is a piece of art. Everything was done right, composed very, very well. Vocals on point, the musicality was perfection but it didn't hit me. It hits very, very differently. But when it comes to Eurovision, I think it's gonna be lost among some of the bigger songs. It is very unique and stands out, which is great. You wanna stand out. Any impact is a good impact and makes a great impression. Georgia always stand out. Their songs are always so unique. 
But this one has me scratching my head a little bit. I don't know if it's gonna grow on me. I don't think I would choose to put it on, but if it came on random, on a random playlist, I would happily sit there and listen to it and vibe out. I feel like it's one of those songs that you have to be in a certain mood for. So I feel like Running Order could be really beneficial or really detrimental to this track at Eurovision. So yeah guys, that's just my opinion on Tourniquet and his track, You. I think it's a very good song. I think technically speaking, it's a very, very good song indeed, but it's just not to my tastes. But I can definitely see the appeal. Maybe after a few more listens and when I'm in a specific mood, this would hit and this would slap me silly. But not for today, I'm afraid, guys. But guys, that's just my opinion. What I really want to know is what do you think about this song? Do you prefer it to his 2020 offering? Always take me as I am your jam. Let me know all of your thoughts down below in that comment section. I can't wait to see what you guys have to say. If you do enjoy Georgia at Eurovision, make sure you hit that thumbs up button so I can see that you think they're just as diverse as I do. Also, while you're there, please hit that subscribe button and that bell notification button. That way you can stay up to date with all of the videos I have for the 2021 season. But that's all for me today, guys. All that's left for me to say is thank you so much for watching. Please stay safe, look after yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Goodbye. One, two, one, two, three, I took the sticks and stones and assembled my throne. The king of broken bones and no one else could bestow. And now you run it high, but I'm so overwhelmed to all the lies. It's just the way